Hey everybody, it is the morning after day 20. I'm, I was pretty tired after yesterday we drove over to Boise's. It was about a three hour drive after the run. So I am totally filming this right now. <clears throat> but it was a good run. The first eight miles was downhill. So it was definitely one of the easiest runs, or easiest eight miles I did. After that, uh, we like came into some kind of farmland, dirt roads. There's a couple inclines, but just a beautiful view of Summersville, Oregon. And I'm going to be in this valley probably for three or four days, running through it. And then I have to hit another mountain range um, and getting closer and closer to Boise. But yeah, everything's going good. Um, my, you, you saw on Facebook, hopefully, um, that I've been getting a little rubbed. And thank you guys for all the remedies and what you do and stuff like that. I'll take care of it um, for sure. It's just been rubbing. I don't know if my shorts are getting too loose or what's going on exactly, but we're going to try a couple things to try to fix it. <clears throat> but uh, until then, we're gonna, just going to rock it out, you know, throw the miles in. We're at 331 miles in 20 days. So we're averaging about 16 and a half miles per run day, which is above the 15 average I was, I was shooting for. So that's good. Um, on Facebook, we have been posting all kinds of stuff. You can check out the photos. You can check out the video blogs. You can also check out you know, my shorty posts. I keep giving them a different name. Shorty, semi-post, whatever. We'll get a cool name for it. But um, also on the website, um, we've added a blog where you can go back and read all the blogs without trying to scroll through my Facebook um, feel free to add me on Facebook as well, my personal page, Tommy Danger. I don't mind that at all if you guys want to talk. Also, send me some hate tail messages. I didn't get any yesterday, which it's not like I'm super bummed, but it's cool to get them. Uh, really motivating. Same with uh, tweets. If you can tell, I'm excited because I'm eating my hummus. Oh. Very good. I love hummus. But anyway, I haven't eaten meat since the beginning of the run. Um, literally the first day of the run, I stopped eating meat, and <clears throat> a lot of people were like, you need meat, you need animal protein to heal, to recover, but it's not, it's not true, actually, um, my body is actually healing faster without it, and, uh, between each run, and animal protein actually is kind of known to put stress on the kidneys, and the kidneys are, is extremely important on distance running, so, I'm rocking it out. Um, I probably should get away from the Diet Coke. I always have a Diet Coke at the end of the run. Every time, Timothy knows to find a gas station so I can get a Diet Coke. But I probably should back off of that. Um, other than that, I'm trying to drink water as much as possible. Get my electrolytes in. Um, what else is there? I think I told you guys already, but there's. I was just on Run.com probably about 20 minutes ago looking at some new gear and stuff like that. As the weather gets colder, they got all kinds of different gear for cold weather. Um, they got some brand new shoes into that are sick, and I might have to send you a little message there, Mr. Run.com, Mr. Kevin, because uh, they are some awesome shoes. But um, yeah, check that out for sure, Run.com. Um, we've been getting taken care of, you know, with food sponsors every day. Just everybody's been so awesome about it and I want to thank everyone out there for being extremely positive and inspiring I've gotten text messages there's so many messages on Facebook I'm getting all the time it's just huge to see people comment when you you don't realize that little comment that you leave on a picture on a, a blog post or something like that gets me jacked up it makes me really excited you know I have the motivation of Ethan and other people with cystic fibrosis but those help as well Every little thing is helping, and we're trying to get more people involved. And, you know, we were in Starbucks yesterday before the run, and a guy came over, and he's like, this older man, he was like, I don't know what that means more than just miles. And we told him about it. Have no idea. Probably doesn't have Facebook. Might not even have a computer or a telephone. But we've told him about it. So that's the cool part. And we're spreading the word about cystic fibrosis. And the, then his wife, like, comes over, and she's like, what was the disease? <laughs> and we told her, she's like, doesn't a lot of people have that? I'm like, absolutely not. Matter of fact, only 30,000 nationwide have it. So it's kind of cool just to spread the word. Um, we're trying to do as much as we can. Sometimes Timothy will drive up and then like run back and then run with me. And that's been huge, but 
a couple days ago, we were running through Milton Freewater. As we're running, I pass uh, a mother and her little girl, and he's like, he stops and he gives them a card and tells them about everything like that. So we're spreading the word. We want you to help spread the word too. Get those people to like the page. Um, I know I'm pretty persistent about it, but it's huge. It, it really, it's not just to get our name out there. It's to get the awareness of cystic fibrosis. Because people are starting to link more than just miles to CF. And the more people that we get on that site, and I post something, it doesn't matter what it is, it pops up on their news feed, and they're learning more, and they're learning more, and it's going to take that. And so the more people that we get on board, the better. And it doesn't take long. And you can even tell people, if you go to my personal Facebook, um, like I straight up say, like, don't be lazy. Go to the page. Like it. It takes five seconds, if that. And if you send me something and, you know, I read about it, I like your page. As long as it makes sense. If it's like, I eat tomatoes and they're delicious, that doesn't, I mean, doesn't really relate to much. But we're changing the world here. Um, one step at a time. That's what we're doing. Also, the hoodies are getting rocked in. Um, I haven't talked to Chi, my executive director, yet, but she should be receiving those soon. As soon as she gets them, literally, the day she gets them, she's shipping. <laughs> So if you got a hoodie, don't worry, it's coming, I promise you. Um, other than that, everything's going swell. Uh, Timothy's rocking out, you know, the safety vehicle, and we're getting some cool photos, getting some good footage. We're trying to look at, uh, line up some other cool uh, ways to get footage with our GoPro cameras. So other than that, um, you guys have a great day. I'm going to enjoy my hummus.